what's up everybody welcome back so today is time for me to do a quick little review uh, for the raw crosshair 8 impact which is a mini dtx motherboard uh, for the ryzen amd ryzen series cpus and um, yeah it is a pretty interesting motherboard uh, going for around 370 euros here in east europe so uh, for what it is it's a pretty perfect package and um, yeah you're probably asking you know should i get it or not right uh, so there are uh, some things to talk about here that i really love about this board and uh, some things that you know definitely shouldn't be on this board uh, but anyway uh, where do you start um, so uh, first of all it does have pc express 4.0 so all the x570 chipset feature the main feature right is pc express 4.0 which uh, gives us you know extra speed for our video card which is kind of it doesn't it doesn't really matter if you're using a 3.0 or a 4.0 um, slot there but it definitely does matter uh, when you're you know using m.2 uh, storage devices right ssds uh, so you do get almost double uh, the speed uh, of the older uh, generation 3.0 speed so that's uh, i guess the main selling points of uh, any x570 board right uh, and yeah here as a impact board uh, as a small form factor uh, board uh, not, a, not an itx but a dtx board i mean yeah overall i've been pretty um, impressed uh, about what uh, what it is right because it does have almost everything that you would want on a small form factor motherboard right so quickly looking at the io boards here we do see that uh, we have a lot of uh, you know options for uh, all sorts of connectivity right uh, eight total usb ports with one of them being a usb type c which is really nice to see right uh, a proper optical out uh, connection for your audio and there's also a regular 3.5 millimeter audio jacks uh, which are illuminated in rgb which is pretty neat i guess and um, yeah we do also find the uh, wi-fi antenna ports and a proper lan port as well and um, yeah uh, there's also a clear cmos button and a bios flashback um, button as well so if you do want to do some overclocking on this board you can do it but i suggest you know never really do any overclocking nowadays because uh, it's just not worth the extra trend percent that you might gain in terms of performance but you know maybe you know really uh, putting uh, things into harm's way in terms of temperatures uh, that will be risen like you know much more than 10 percent uh, and as you can see this motherboard does have uh, cooling fans on them and that is the only the only thing that i don't like i don't like uh, um, nowadays i don't like any motherboards any hardware ac actually that has fans on them because fans are you know things that you know wear down over time so might be good for a year or two or maybe three or four even but after that you know uh, the smaller the fans are the more problems you might get so if one of those fans die what happens right uh, does do the temperatures rise too much and you know take other hardware with it you know because it has been you know made specially with these fans in mind so that's kind of a concern and it doesn't you know mean that you know a fan slowly dies off and you won't notice maybe you will start noticing when it does you know start to make a really loud um, you know crackling noise or something like that and uh, when it starts to die right uh, it's not easy to change out you know uh, some really small fans like that they're definitely not uh, regular fans that you would find in any computer store right so yeah that's uh, kind of a downside for me uh, on this board here uh, but other than that it looks great it has rgb asus aura sync right and it has a really nice robust design supreme fx audio as well right and uh, overall i mean a really perfect uh, dtx motherboard uh, i didn't do any overclocking on this motherboard because my overclocking days uh, have uh, come and gone right i don't believe in overclocking at all nowadays uh, you just you just don't need it you just don't need it right 
so yeah, I really li like to keep things in stock mode, right? To give more life in the parts that I buy, right? Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, a decent TTX motherboard, nothing really bad to say, right? We do find the uh, PC Express 4.0 as well here, which is a nice touch, right? Uh, so overall, I'm gonna give it a 8.5 out of 10. And uh, yeah, the only downside are the fans, right? Uh, how long do they last and uh, how good are they, right? They aren't loud, right? At least not now, <laughs> but it, if they get dusty and, you know, start to wear down, that's an issue in the future, right? So I hope they, you know, in the future develop um, versions of motherboards that don't need any fans because we got rid of fans for some time and now they're back. Why? We don't really need them, right? Uh, anyway, uh, that's kind of gonna be it for my quick uh, review here. Yeah, I didn't want to go too deep into the hardware here. I mean, it's a perfect TTX motherboard if you want to build a small uh, form factor PC. And it is good for what it is. Uh, although, yeah, 370 euros. I mean, it, it's, it's fine, I guess, because it does have a lot of things that you want in a motherboard, right? Wi-Fi as well. So you can't really go wrong with this motherboard. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching uh, this quick little uh, video of mine. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you want to get this motherboard, get it through my Amazon link. I'm going to leave it in the description box. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Ciao for now.